What would you like to talk about today? Well, Mark's not here, and Mark is pretty much the brains behind the operation. Uh, Which is why we haven't grown, <laughs> um, we're, we're not very popular, um, we're thinking on a change. <laughs> <laughs> Hence, Mark's not here. <laughs> uh, so, it is just past the mid-mark of the year. Yep. And I thought, well, why don't we audit the first half of the year? Okay. For the movies that we've seen. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, uh, normally I would want to do a tier list, but uh, we're going to do a tier list for something else. So okay. this, we're just going to have a discussion. What you thought, whereabouts, is this a green light, a yellow light, a red light? And then at the end, we'll say, okay, of the movies that we've seen, is it going well? Hmm. Because at the beginning of the year, we thought this was going to be a flubtastic year. And it still may be, because I've seen what's coming up. Okay, but we'll see what we've gone through already. Okay. Okay, so, so in January, mm -hmm. we had The Beekeeper, and we had Mean Girls. Yes, yes we did. Do we have any red, green, or yellow lights in there? Mean Girls was unnecessary to me. I didn't thoroughly enjoy it. But it wasn't bad. Yeah, but the music, even the, like the songs weren't even great. Um, the singers were good, like it was a talented cast, but it's like the characters just seemed out of place. Like, it wasn't Mean Girls. It wasn't all this, uh, you know, the whole story. It seemed like we're putting these people in there because they can sing as opposed to fitting the storyline. But yeah, the music wasn't catchy enough. Like, I, I didn't come out humming a single song in a musical, which is not a good thing. Well, and the original one, like, talk about, like, what comes out of it. You had Amanda Seyfried. Yeah. Uh, you had uh, uh, Rachel McAdams. Adam, McAdams and, and, the, and the star, uh, Lindsay Lohan. So you remembered them after that movie, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. And this one, who came out of this one? Nobody. No. They're all Broadway. Well, one of them was an, the actual singer from the Broadway show of Mean Girls was actually in the movie. Uh, so they're, they may be good on Broadway and known on Broadway, but I don't see anybody jumping out at anybody making them the next thing. Mm -hmm. Beekeeper? Beekeeper was a typical Jason Statham movie. But did we, like, did we enjoy it? I kind of enjoyed it because it was Jason Statham just kicking people. Uh, but it wasn't a real Jason Statham movie. Like, it had so many plot holes in it. <laughs> like, you could just blah, 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 blah. But it was still an okay for that kind of genre. It was okay to me. Okay, so I'm going to go Beekeeper Green Light. Okay. You're going to go Beekeeper yellow, yellow and Mean Girls. Red. It didn't need to be there. Okay. Yeah. In February, we had Argyle. Let's just do one at a time. Argyle. Okay, red. Red. Yeah. Did not like Argyle that much. The whole stupid ice skating fight and all that, it, it, it just didn't work for me. Okay, I thought it was at least a yellow. Yeah, I didn't like... He like, anything with him in it. Uh, yeah, but it, it wasn't him in it. He was barely in it. Uh, I don't know. I thought I thought it was still pretty okay. decent. Okay, I, 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 I was disappointed. Red. Yeah, I was disappointed. Uh, Bob Marley. Long, drawn out movie, well done, yellow. Okay, I'm gonna say red because that's not the Bar Bob Marley story that I even was remotely interested in. Well, just like Elvis. That wasn't the Elvis story I wanted to hear when Elvis came out. Mm -hmm. It was more about... <laughs> you know. But at least the Elvis was, okay, this is everything that happened, except it's told by Colonel Tom Parker. Yeah. But Bob Marley, like, it, why are you showing all the uninteresting stuff? Yeah, yeah, it would, it, yeah, I don't know. It, yeah, that's why it was yellow, because I did enjoy the music part of it and learning a couple things that I didn't know, but other than that... And I couldn't understand it. No, no. Okay. Uh, Madam Web. <laughs> red! <laughs> is there a black? Can we... Can we is, is, is red, black worse than red in color scheme? Okay, so that was a complete fail. Yeah. Okay. March, Dune Part 2. Ah, uh, green. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I'd well, like that one too. well filmed and everything, well acted. Yeah. Okay, uh, Kung Fu Panda Four. Did you see that? I did. In fact, I just watched it again the other night. I didn't see it. 
Uh, I'll go yellow. It was a typical Kung Fu Panda movie, but it's the fourth one now. I'm getting tired of them. Yeah. And now, now he was gonna find the next Kung Fu, like Dragon Warrior kind mm -hmm. of thing. So, yeah. But was it funny? No, it was just mildly humorous. Mm -hmm. Mildly. Imaginary. Imaginary? Mm -hmm. What was that? Is that the one with the bear? The little teddy bear? I don't think I saw it. Yeah, yeah, I saw it with you. The little bear. I guess red. The childhood <laughs> friend, or the childhood uh, bear that... No, you saw we it. Could, we could see it, but you it saw it with there. Mark. Oh, did I? I did not see it, so. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was. You know, the horror movies now, they're not scary. Uh, it was fine for what it was, so it almost. Like, it was between red and yellow. Like, I didn't have to see that thing. Green! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Roadhouse. Yellow. It was okay. Um, didn't say anything new. It wasn't as campy as the original one was, but the the original still sticks out in my mind way more than the new one did. Mm -hmm. like, I, I enjoyed it. Like, I wouldn't say it was, uh, like, it's going to be in the top list of the year, but uh, I enjoyed it. So, yeah, yellow. Yeah, well, yeah. The, and the villain in the original was far better than the villain in the new one. The yeah. new one was just well, prototypical I'll, I'll, spoiled brat. But, but Conor McGregor was pretty good. Mark didn't As, like him, or was it you that didn't like him? I thought he was funny. Eh, I could have done with that. Either way. The greatest intro this year so far, like when he comes on screen. Uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Yellow. It was again, uh, in fact, it got worse than the first one though. Um, I didn't mind the first Ghostbusters remake, but this one, uh, the whole storyline with the girl angst stuff, it just didn't work, but it was okay. Uh, some of the stuff in the trailer wasn't there, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah, it it was a it was a miss for me, but I'll, it was eh. Yeah, as a movie, I think it was a yellow. But frustration wise, it would be red. red yeah. yeah, yeah. It was it was it was it was from the first one. Godzilla X Kong, or Godzilla Kong. I don't even know how you're yeah. supposed to say that. I'm gonna go yellow. It was a popcorn kind of flick and everything, but the stupidity of the movie again is right up there when they have this dentist flying around with, hey, let's go on the world expedition that might save the world. Let's take the 10 year old, the <laughs> dentist. <laughs> you know? Or you have that scene where there's no gravity and, yeah. and, and the, the vlogger vlog. and the vlogger. They're taking the vlogger with them. And then, oh, by the way, uh, we magically have this robotic arm that Godzilla knows how to use immediately, uh, King Kong knows how to use immediately. Transformers. You know? Like, yeah. give me a break. I'm, I'm writing with my coworker yesterday, and this came up, and if there was something better than green, he was all in for this movie. Because he loved that little chimp and his antagonism towards Kong. Oh my Kong, god. And uh, he was all in. I loathe that little chimp. Um, April, we had Civil War. I'm going to say yellow, it was well acted and everything, but it was disappointing that it wasn't Civil War. It was a news story. It was a follow-up. About of, journalism. Yeah, it was a road trip, is what it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, I even got fooled. I thought um, Matt Damon was in it. It wasn't Matt Damon. <laughs> it was the guy the, who played the cop in Game Night. Mm. He was the next-door neighbor. That they always wanted to avoid in game night. It was the actress's husband. Yeah, but he did a great job. But as a movie, I was bored a lot watching it because all the action happened around. Yeah, I, th I think it was a strong yellow, but disappointment-wise, it was a red. Yeah, because it wasn't the story they advertised. Not at all. No. Uh, Abigail. Abigail was amazing. I actually saw this in the theater on vacation, <laughs> and I was went, I went into it going, well, this isn't going to be very good. It's a ballerina vampire. What the heck am I doing this? And I got talked into going, and I loved it. Hmm. I I got it. I even own it now. So you're going green. I'm going green. I'm gonna go yellow. Like I thought, watching it, 
It did not feel like a B movie. It felt like a triple A movie, uh, but it was still kind of corny. True, and, but you didn't see it in the theater, right? No, you no, you, you saw that on oh. the down. It make no, you didn't. You saw it, you I because I I sent it to you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so no, uh, it's absolutely it was better in theater. Like it, you're in there expecting nothing, and then that popped up, and it, you're laughing all the way through it. You know, uh, like what do we know about vampires right now that they don't exist? Like that that line caught me that I burst out laughing during that scene, and the last line of the movie is one of the best last lines of a movie you'll ever hear. Mm. Okay. Uh, the Fall Guy. The Fall Guy. Yes, I went and saw this after you guys did. It was yellow to me. It turned... A lot of people would say green. A lot of people would, I would not. Like, it wasn't funny enough for me. It was really action-oriented, considering it was geared as a romantic comedy. And uh, I, I didn't, I didn't find it very funny. I even the action was to me mediocre. Yeah, the trailers made it look like it was a rom com. Yeah, but it wasn't. It was about stuntmanism. Yeah, and you know what? Even part of the rom com stuff they made kind of long. Oh yeah, like I, I, I just and it didn't do not it did not do well in theaters. So yeah, that was supposed to be the summer kickoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Well done. I'll get, yeah, it was green. Awesome! It wasn't my favorite of the series, but it was well done, well acted, and that, but I'm tired of the, the whole Planet of the Apes now. Okay. The remakes. Uh, I'm gonna go strong green. Awesome! Like green or the green? Green of the Green? Green of the Green. You were really thrilled when you came out of the yeah, theater. Was, I remember that. That was amazing. I like that one. If. I haven't seen this one. You didn't see If. I think I went with uh, Diane, my sister, your mom. Uh, it's a red. You're stupid. It was uh, Ryan Reynolds, one of my favorite actors. Really boring. Really dumb. It was like... They have, hey, we're going to have all these imaginative characters. And it was nothing. Like, there was nothing great about it. Yes, they had this big purple guy that kids kind of liked. But the kids were, uh, I was in the theater with were bored out of their skull watching it. It just did not entertain. And it was really disappointing for a Ryan Reynolds film. Mm. A best, especially a family-friendly Ryan Reynolds. No. Red, red, red. Do you remember that, uh, I don't even know what it was called. Maybe Dreamland or something like that with Jason Momoa, the little girl. And uh, Jason Momoa was like a, f a friend in her father's dream or something like that. I don't think I saw the that. The lighthouse. Hmm? No? That's the vibe I got from If, but it, I like the Momoa one. Yeah, you went to like this. No? No. Uh, still in May, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. <laughs> uh, I haven't been a fan of even the first Mad Max. Re remake. Remake, yeah. Or is it a remake or a sequel? It's a remake. Um, I'll, I'll yellow it. Well shot and everything like this. Really didn't care about the characters. <laughs> I have, I have yeah. no attachment to the Mad Max universe whatsoever, but I'm going to go strong green on that. Okay. I thought it was amazing. Mm. See, it, it, if you like that kind of film, you're right into it. But I was watching this going, meh. Nah. No, normally I'm not a post-apocalyptic film guy. Yeah. But some for some reason I thought the acting was great. I thought the, the scope and the cinematography and the action, everything was good for me. Yeah. I just got annoyed at those. All of a sudden the, the thing is here and then it goes like this, like over and over and over again I'm going. So. In June, Inside Out 2. Really good movie. I was bored. <laughs> Like this, like really heartfelt movie, and made a ton of money. Uh, I don't know how many kids were really liking this. Like to me, it was a step down from the original Inside Out. But I'd say yellow. But I like. I just I, I came out of it going, oh, that was a really good movie that I didn't enjoy. I'll go green. I'll go green. I enjoy. I appreciated 
See? The story. It, appreciate it is different than enjoy. I appreciated <laughs> the story. I appreciated the animation. Yeah. All the voice acting was awesome. Uh, I liked, unlike you, I liked all the little uh, visual metaphors and, and uh, spoken metaphors for all the different parts of the human psyche. Okay. But like you, I was wanting something to pull me in more. Yeah, like the action in that movie wasn't exciting. Wasn't really action like a typical Pixar film would be. No, but, you know, not every film is an action film. You can have a drama. No, but if you're putting action in it, make it exciting. Make it have like some kind of thrill to it. This was dull. It, some of it was dull. Yeah. The bike riders. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that was an interesting experience. We can save that. <laughs> we can save that. Uh, um, again, it was a movie I was thinking, hey, it's going to be all about bike gangs and everything. And the previews, oh, preview shows the main bikers there and the police and the fire on the side. And they're going, we should get out of here. And they're going, no, they're afraid of us. That was That's so cool. I said, that's what I want to see. And we didn't quite see that. We just saw, like, relationships between the guys. Mm -hmm. So, well-acted movie, just kind of all over the place and not what I really wanted. I'm giving it a yellow, close to a green, but I wanted a, like the biker gang movie. And to me, this was guys in a biker gang, just talking kind of thing. A, a bike club. Yeah, like especially it's narrated by the girl mm. all the way through. It's not the biker story, it's her story kind of thing. So, yeah. I didn't mind the perspective, and I, I loved the acting. It was good, but yeah, again, it's not a story I was interested in. No. And the trailer made it seem different. Yeah. Now, I understand this is the story of this club, so I should have expected the story of this club and not what I want to see, but... True. You know. But when the trailers make it look like something, and you go to see it, and it's something different, you're left disappointed. Mm -hmm. Uh, A Quiet Place, day one. Stupid movie. Really. Um, so many times they would have died <laughs> in this movie. And it was the story of a cat during an alien invasion. The cat was more prominent than the main actress in this movie. I don't, I don't know why somebody thought, okay, a, a cancer patient going to get a sentimental slice of pizza was what everybody wanted to see about the arrival of aliens. Yeah, yeah. Not the survival of everybody, not what's happening. Not everything. the reaction to aliens coming to Earth. Yeah, no. none, of, none of that. None of what's happening with the military, nothing like that at all. Let's make it a personal story. Yeah. A road trip. So yeah, uh, yellow at best. Yeah, I, I think it was almost a red. Yeah. Uh, although, the acting was okay. And it was. It was just a dumb story. The aliens were okay, like the visuals. Yeah, it's just a dumb story. Yeah. Boring story. There's no reason to make that movie. No. Uh, in July, we had Despicable Me 4. Uh, you know, I'm going to give that an actual green, because I had a good time watching it. I laughed numerous times, and I liked the character of Gru. So, it's one of the series that I can still watch even though it's a cartoon. Like, 2 and 3? I thought this one was better than 2 and 3. Yeah. But, I'm seeing a lot of thumbnails out there for reviews saying, this was a waste of time. Yeah. This was no. a bad movie. No, I enjoyed it. I, I think a lot of people out there look for that, this is terrible because it gets more clicks. Yeah. Than if you like something. But, no, I enjoyed myself for a cartoon. I had a good time. And you know us. We look for anything to hate a movie. Oh, yeah. And we didn't hate this We one. said... Inside Out, which made a billion and a half dollars, <laughs> was just okay. <laughs> and we're going to finish off with Twisters. Twisters was a pleasant surprise. Went in with no anticipation of anything good or anything, although I did like the main actor, Powell. And I uh, came away, hey, really enjoyed the film. It was exactly what it advertised. So green. Green. So I'm seeing... A lot of people out there not liking this movie. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> I would say it's green too. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It 
gave exactly what it promised to give. People chasing tornadoes, going through tornadoes. It's a campy blockbuster summer film. Now, you could be upset that, oh, like, it's just a remake of the original, but so is Manchurian Candidate. Everything's a remake of something. So, uh, I went into this not remembering much of the original, uh, and liking this. I didn't, I, I wanted to not like it because, uh, twisters, well, everything is bigger and worse than the original, right? No, this was a good movie. Yeah, it was fun and entertaining. And quite frankly, the only thing anyone remembers from the first movie is cow. Another cow. And that's all they remember. So, I don't know. Uh, the first half of 24 looks like it's a lot, a lot of yellow. A lot of yellow in there. I think a lot of yellow bordering on red. Yeah. So far. And, uh, well, we just saw Twisters this week. Uh, coming up, you're going to get to see Wolverine. <laughs> What a I don't. day to leave for I, your trip. I know, I know. What can I do? I, I, I gotta live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's more important though? Deadpool or no, living? Living, I think. <laughs> living and traveling the world is much better than seeing Wolverine and Deadpool because I can see that anytime. I might even see it in London if it's playing because I have two days there. So I, we'll, think, I think you should. If I can, I will. Um, but the rest of the year, Looking pretty bad. There's not a lot of movies I'm going, oh, I can't wait for that to come out. Usually September is pretty bad, but this September, oh my God, I can't even imagine how bad it's going to be. No. Like, when Twisters, to me, has been my, like, wow, that's finally a movie I enjoyed. That's not a good sign. For the rest, like, there, where's the where's the big blockbuster Marvel films? You know, where's the big blockbuster Disney release this year, other than the uh, Pixar? But, like in, in June and July, we had, we started, we finished off strong, kind of. We had Inside Out 2, Despicable Me 4, and Twisters. Yeah. One we came out, eh, good, but eh, one we enjoyed. It's a, but those are cartoons. Where's my adult films? <laughs> For your own time. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 